Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Once again, it's great to be back with Bill Jordan, our favorite baby boomer philosopher, and my wonderful partner, John Coleman. How you doing, guys? Doing Good. well. Hope you guys are. Hey, uh, Bill, you, uh, you love, and I love calling you, our baby boomer philosopher. Yes. Embrace the boom. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shameless um, plug. Shameless well, plug. What's the uh, moniker? One of the reasons I love calling you a philosopher is because, I, and I'm in preparation here for this, I looked up, I'm on di dictionary.com, one of my favorite websites. I looked up the word philosophy because your 15 practices and all the time when we talk to you, we talk about, you know, life in general, but you always have some great advice mm -hmm. and, and a, an interesting take on life. So here's the, the definition of philosophy. Uh, a, sim a system of principles for guidance in practical affairs, a particular system of thought based on the study or investigation. So that's philosophy. You are a philosopher. You really are. You have bring great stuff to your Facebook page, Thank to you. our videos. Well, it, it helps me. Um, ancient, uh, an ancient philosopher, as most of them have been, Seneca famously said, for as long as you live life, learn how to live life. And that's what I never understood when I was a kid. I remember going to the University of Richmond, only one a year. I think I've told you guys this. And they offered philosophy as a course. And I said, what the heck is that? Why would I take philosophy? You know, what, what, I mean, I, I just thought it was sitting around. You, know, you guys, we may have talked about this before, the old Bill Cosby album, Why Is There Air? The philosophers yes. saying, why is there air? There's air to blow up volleyballs. There's air to blow up basketballs. That's why there's air. That you ask these you know, unanswerable questions. But that's not what philosophy is. And the fascinating thing to me, one of the fascinating things to me about philosophy is if you look into some of these things, the Socrates and the Plato's and the Seneca's, they were talking about hundreds of years before Christ, they were talking about the same societal challenges that we have today. They were talking about ego. They were talking about greed. They were talking about lying. They were talking about living, you know, a rich and full, honest life. It's the same stuff. People have been people since there have been people. And yeah. philosophy helps you navigate because and because everything begins with our thoughts, it does help you, I think, organize your thoughts in a meaningful way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you obviously love the ancients. You, you just mentioned a bunch of them. Do you have any modern sources of philosophy? Well, the guy, the guy that I go to and I, I, I subscribe to his email, The Daily Stoic. I have his book, The Daily Stoic, which is a daily reading, as you might uh, ascertain from just the title. A guy named Ryan... Holiday. He's like 34 years old, uh, but he's got several books. Um, uh, Ego is the enemy. The obstacle is the way. Stillness is the key. And, and that's a fascinating book in that. And he, and he can cite for you in virtually every major religion. Stillness is one of the key practices or one of the key teachings in Christianity, be still and know that I am God. Almost every one of the major religions quotes something about being still. And sometimes that's exactly what you need to do. Just sit in your chair, have the TVs off, the radios off, and you just be still with your thoughts. Meditate. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of, it's a recharging for me when you do that. But this guy's amazing. And he's got a lot of videos out there. Again, the Daily Stoic um, uh, YouTube channel. Just stuff to think about. He is an excellent writer, and he is extremely well-spoken. Uh, he's done a lot of high-end uh, talking, too. I mean, a lot of big corporations have him in. At 34 years old, this guy is a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a great uh, uh, one of your many sources for uh, wisdom. And that's what I like about your 15 practices and your you, your uh, Facebook site and everything else. Um you always impart a lot of fun, 
but there's good, solid wisdom behind what you're doing. Yeah, what I particularly enjoy uh, when we speak uh, is uh, the homespun way in which you uh, spin these. Uh, so it's not just like, uh, here are the 13 things, you know, uh, like the old tablets that the 15 uh, commandments <laughs> they brought down. I, I know he dropped one. But, he dropped one. Uh, so there are only 10. But you have your own homespun uh, feel to it that... Uh, shows that you really embrace them. Besides embracing the boom, you, you really embrace these principles and and uh, put it out in your own unique way. So, uh, well, I, I, would, I, I think, I, I think that, that Ryan, Ryan should start watching uh, 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 the uh, Embrace the Boom well, series on Ryan, uh, our YouTube Ryan channel. Ryan truly, uh, truly is exceptional. I think if I've got an, any kind of an angle on that or any kind of an insight as to why I think the way I do about this stuff is because with a 40 year career in radio, I mean, you had to have a sensitive nature to look at things and, and think deeply about them or think about things in a different way. Um, another quote, and I think it was Plato who said, the greatest deception is self deception. And that has hit me hard too. It's like, how many have said, oh, you know, I'm eating well, I'm getting in shape. I'm, you know, these lies that we tell ourselves, you yeah. know, to thine own self be true, know thyself. So it's the self-knowledge that I, I appreciate with philosophy, and maybe I do overthink some stuff, but it really has helped me, I think, live a better life. And, and it's, it, again, it's fascinating to me that the ancients speak to us just as poignantly and powerfully in, in modern times as they did back in the, back in the old days. Well, you yeah. know what? I, I really, I really uh, uh, appreciate it, and I also appreciate that uh, you're doing your best you can to to uh, stay in good health, so that you too will become an ancient one day. <laughs> well, you know, there's some people who consider me an ancient. You know, I, I talked to, uh, I was uh, listening to a guy who was it the other day? I think it was on uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, it's a, another YouTube guy I follow, and he says, you know, yeah, I'm getting older now. I'm about to be 29. <laughs> I got, I got clothing. Not, not getting older. I have a tie in my closet that's 29 years old. You hurt yourself in your sleep. You're starting to get older. 29 yeah. ain't old. So, uh, but again, I'm 67. I don't, you know, yeah, I'm slow. I've slowed down. In the last year, I've noticed that I've, especially like with yard work and stuff, it's like, you know what? I can't get after this as hard as I used to. But that's okay. Um, but I still don't mentally think of myself as old. And that's, that's part of the challenge we have, I think, for men and women. Mentally, we stay the same. Mentally, we're 20, you know. Sure. Uh, but physically, yeah, I mean, there's there's definite, you know, there's changes. Older but I think we still can, with, with exercise and other stuff, we still can maintain as good a quality of life as we're, we're able to do. All right. Well, I appreciate uh, not only the philosophy and the thoughts, but I appreciate you sharing it with everybody particularly on Celebrating Act Two. Well, uh, it's always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Enjoy talking with you. We hit it off quite well. One day we'll meet uh, like in Kansas City, somewhere in the middle or something and, uh, you know, toast each other or something. I think that, that, that would be, be great. a great time. We're looking forward we'll, to that. We'll do it on your book tour. We'll meet you on their book tour. Yeah, hopefully I'll get an update on an Embrace the Boom book for you here soon. Okay. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.